Hey guys, Steph here from Barbell Sanctuary. Today's video, I just wanted to go over the Sunday routine a little bit. I have a couple new clients that I'm coaching right now and I've written to them about doing their Sunday routine, but I just wanted to tell you what my Sunday routine was and how it can help you with your weight loss. For me, for my weight loss, being prepared was a critical component. Uh, it's night and day. When you're not prepared, you're gonna you're gonna eat out. You're gonna eat quick meals that are unhealthy. If your workout gear is not ready in the morning when you go to work out, you're not gonna you know you have more of a chance of not working out. You don't have your stuff ready for work, then you might think, oh, I don't have enough time to fit my workout in. So that's another excuse. Just every point that you're not ready for will be that extra brick in the road that will slow you down or stop you from achieving your goals. So I have a Sunday routine. I've designed it and I've written mine out so that every Sunday I try to do the same things and I go through them and it prepares me for the week. I find I'm much more consistent with my workouts and with my eating and it's helped me quite a bit. So hopefully this can help you as well. I did groceries this morning. It's Sunday. I like to go. I'm a morning person. I was up early. I went to Walmart. There was barely anybody there. There was a bunch of Chicken breasts on sale, saved quite a bit of money. I picked up a lot. So now I'm just gonna make some meals. I'll link my meal prep video at the end of the video where I explain what I put into it. I'm just doing it as I'm talking right now. I already have some meals prepped, but I'm constantly making more. Every week I make more and I cycle them in my deep freeze. So I always have something on the go. Now my meals, I've explained this before, my chicken, I don't really, I season it with like salt, pepper, garlic, just the basics. And then I have different sauces. I'll just grab a Heinz 57 or a Frank's Red Hot. Low calorie sauces that I'll, I'll add to it after. Makes it easy, so I just batch cook it. And my wife can grab one of these as well, or we can grab one and split it between the kids. First thing I actually do a Sunday routine, and then I recommend you do as well. For myself and all my, my clients, we track four things. We track weight, measurements, photos, and workout strength and stamina. So every Sunday, well, every day of the week, we weigh ourselves in the morning. And then Sunday morning is when you're gonna take the last seven days, your seven weights, you add them together and then divide it by seven and that'll give you your average weight. That way it accounts for fluctuations up and down, sodium intake, all that kind of stuff. So that's the first thing you do in the morning. Then weekly measurements. After the initial measurements, I usually just do waist measurements to track weight loss. And once a month, we'll do uh, photos. So I'll do a front facing relaxed pose and side shot as well. So with your measurements, you compare weekly and the photos you do monthly and then you compare month to month. And what I really like doing is you always compare that week or that month's photo with the very beginning. I mean, at the beginning, at, at first, it's not a big difference, but when you've been training for three, four, five months, you start to really see a, a big difference and you're amazed. Like it's, 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 it's hard to believe sometimes when you look at the before and after and you've actually progressed a lot more usually than what you think you did in your mind. So it's a good motivation to look at those. The next thing I'll do is I'll look over my week. What am I doing? What's my wife working? What are the kids doing? You know, do I need any special meals? Anything like that? Um, are my work uniforms ready? Or if you don't have a uniform, is your work clothes ready? Because you don't want to work, wake up in the morning, like I said, and rush to try to find stuff. So I get everything laid out that I need for the week. That way I'm good to go and I'm not rushed. I'm not losing time in the morning so I can focus on my workout I know that I'm good to go in that regards. I also take like my pills. I take an allergy pill every day. I take vitamin D, vitamin B. I have a Monday to Friday pill container. I'll try to fill those up. That way in the morning, it's all there. And I don't forget to take my supplements, my fish oil and all that. So I get it all ready. It's just one more thing. And that's about it for my Sunday routine. But meal prep is a big one. It, uh, it's amazing how much it actually helps. So I'll just show you what I'm doing real quick then. I'm putting in a cup of rice. There's no butter or salt or anything in these. And the chicken is, is all portioned into eight ounces, which is six and a half ounces of cooked chicken breast. This is all baked. I'll either bake it or grill it on the barbecue. Don't add, add any extra oil. When you cook chicken, it loses 20% of water weight. So when you cook it uh, raw, eight ounces is about 6.5 cooked. It's pretty close. 
So that's all I do. I just weigh 6.5 each container with one cup of rice. It actually makes a pretty decent meal, lots of protein, and they're only the meals end up being about 600 calories. I'm using my digital scale. It's under this bowl. You can't see it, but I hit. I'm hitting the tear value every time, so it resets it. I'm trying to break it up a little bit because these are all going in the freezer, so they're going to be frozen. Pop them in the microwave at work for five minutes and good to go. So now I got all my chicken. I have some chicken left. My meal, I'm out of rice. So what I do, I meal prep salad portions. Probably have three. So I just grabbed the cheap uh, Ziploc bags because they're not going to be frozen for very long. And what I do is I'll put uh, eight ounces of chicken or 6.5 of cooked chicken in these bags. And then I'll freeze these as well. That way, if I come home for lunch or for supper, I want a salad or Amy Jo wants a salad. And we just pop one of these in the microwave for two minutes and then it's ready. Then you get a salad. And the other thing, I have two little pups here. If I get close to the end and I have a couple pieces left, they might get a little snack. Here you go, Lou. Oops, sorry. Here you go, Lou. Good girl. Here you go, Ben. There. One more for you. And one more for you. All right. Now for the vegetable, I cycle between broccoli, I really like Brussels sprouts, uh, green beans, and one of my favorites is peas. Now when I do the peas, they're a bit higher in calorie, they're 70 calories per half a cup, but you also get uh, 4 grams of protein out of that, so I never measure vegetables. Nobody gets fat eating vegetables. I find they'll fill you up though, so I basically just fill the rest of the container in your floor with peas. Actually pretty good frozen too. Um, the rice, I'm actually going to put some light margarine on there. It is only 35 calories per two tablespoons. I'm not going to measure it. I just kind of, because it's so low calorie, that's a bit much. I actually don't put all that much. It's probably in between a teaspoon and two teaspoons. I used to measure so I have a good idea of what a teaspoon looks like. If it was actual butter, I would measure because it's so calorie dense, but this stuff is so low calorie, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to talk about the my Sunday routine and how you should implement a Sunday routine as well. Being prepared for weight loss is the key. If I'm too busy, I'll eat one of these for, for lunch. I'll get home if the kids have activities and I need to go. I'll grab one of these two instead of grabbing something on the way out or Whatever, I'll just pop it in the microwave or I'll text my wife and say, hey, can you get a freezer meal out? Doesn't matter which one. I'll just grab whatever. And then I'll grab one of my sauces and I can eat that. That way I always have a healthy option. I have zero excuse to eat poorly. So two of these a day, a couple fruit snacks, good to go. If you have anything that you do during your Sunday routine or a weekly routine, please let me know in the comments. Please uh, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate the support. Thanks. We'll see you guys next time.